All right, you guys, welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. Uh, today, we're gonna go through this cut. I have released this in an ASMR version, but I always wanted to kind of walk you guys through this one. So we're actually gonna begin with the top. I'm going to set in a Mohawk guide section. You guys can check out how to cut the top in the phases if you wanna see this more in depth, but basically we're just gonna take a center part right down the middle, I'm gonna knock it down, and then we're gonna work alongside of it in rows. We're just gonna take it back. One of the reasons why I addressed the top is because I just want to see how this is going to lay. This haircut is going to be a little bit disconnected at the end, and I know this. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that I addressed the top first so I could see, you know, what it's going to look like as it as it meets the sides. Some people are calling this the flow haircut. I'm not sure what you call it. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment down below if you got a name for it. But as you can see, I'm just working my guide from the center out to the sides and little by little, I'm going to make my guide a little bit wider. And what's kind of cool about using this technique is you're actually using two guides at the same time. So one is a traveling guideline. If you take your sections and you make them small enough, you'll be able to see that. And then you have a stationary guideline in the center, which just makes this, this, this is just the easiest way to possibly cut the top. It doesn't need to be complicated. So as you see, we'll just work this all the way out to the edges and that's going to be that. Okay, we're gonna set in our guideline. Uh, this is this is actually phase one, how to start every fade, but this is kind of an alternative method. So as you notice, I have a taper blade on my on my saber, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna put in a much softer guideline. It's gonna be a little bit easier to get out. His hair can be really tough to fade. So basically, I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna set my guideline in all the way around the head, keeping it even, putting in that nice soft guideline, and it should look something like this uh, before you're ready for this next step. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab the trimmers. If you guys don't know about the Sabre, it, it now has a new cutter called the One Blade and this thing just cuts like butter and it's so nice. So we're looking to remove all that extra bulk and as we get up to the top, I'm keeping this in the upward direction and I'm kind of flicking out slightly. So I do wanna get as close as possible to where I ended without going all the way up because then I'm gonna defeat the purpose and I'm gonna wind up putting in a harsh skin line. So the next step, we're gonna grab the Rebel electric shaver. This is like the fastest electric shaver in the business. I can't wait till everybody else gets their hands on this. And I'm going to go just underneath where I went with my trimmer. And you guys are gonna know if you did this right, when you get into your blend, you'll be able to see how difficult it is to remove that skin line. And that'll tell you how accurate you were in these steps. Um, over time, you'll get better. So. I now have the saber in the open position with the taper blade and I'm going to flick out lightly and I'm creating that area to blend in and it's going to be about the width of a finger, maybe a little bit more and I'm going to travel all the way around the head with it open before I begin uh, blending. So we're, we're just setting ourselves up and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set in another guideline with a number one. This is the two click and flick. I talk about this all the time but we're just gonna soften that area above there. Now, there's gonna be some rules broken in this blend. This isn't gonna be like every other blend where we're, we're, we're looking to get this blend done quick. I want it to show nice towards the bottom, but it's gotta blend into some really long hair on top. So I'm trying to keep as much darkness, some as much contrast as I can uh, towards the top part of that blend. So. Another method that I use to do this is I'm gonna use a little bit of clipper over comb. As you can see, I pinned off the top before I even got started here. And now I'm just gonna hold it out on the angle that I wanna maintain. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna start removing some of that bulk towards the top. I'm gonna to start creating that blend. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I do teach the clipper over comb class in person. Um, we just taught it in Fort Worth, Texas at Fort Worth Barber Supply where we had mannequins, it was a hands-on experience, it was really dope. And uh, if you guys are members, you can check out the vlog for that. And eventually I'll probably release a vlog for, for the rest of uh, everybody else. But yeah, just, just a great class and uh, awesome seeing people start to have that light bulb moment go off with Clipper Over Comb, because it's, it's really challenging to learn. But once you, once you learn uh, when and where and how to use it, it's, it's just a huge advantage. <laughs> Sorry, my son just rolled off the couch. All right, so here we go. I have this fully closed and it might look like I'm holding it flat, but 
for the most part, I'm just touching down one side of the blade or the other. I'm actually trying not to hold it flat because that's gonna, that could lead to more mistakes. So little by little, I'll begin actually opening this clipper, but when you start from the bottom and you flick away at the line, like you'll be surprised how steep and nice you'll be able to make your blend. And uh, this is just my favorite way to do it now. So I'm gonna begin opening it slightly and I'm going to repeat the process uh, pretty much until the clipper is back in the open position. Okay, so you're gonna notice now that there's gonna be a faint line left over. So that's where the vapor blade comes in. So I actually have my Rebel and I'm gonna repeat the exact same process, process with it fully closed, uh, just using one corner or the other, just touching down half of the blade or the other half and uh, little by little flicking out and following up. It is just such a huge advantage. I cannot understate this to have both a taper blade and a fade blade or a fusion blade uh, on your station. So think of it this way, your vapor blade is going to help you remove any of the harsh skin lines that are left over, whereas the taper blade is going to help you blend out all the dark spots and really detail uh, that area. So you'll find yourself not really needing the half guard quite as much if you work with the taper blade and you'll literally be able to hit every single length in between. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw a half guard on and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open it two clicks and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start detailing the top part of that blend, uh, just looking to meet those two lengths and make it look perfect. This is that point during your haircut where you just do not wanna get impatient. You can start to kinda see what the end result's gonna look like and a lot of times people will start rushing here, but it's all these little tiny details that are gonna make up that perfect blend. So little by little, just let it come together, let the clipper do the work and don't try to force it. Once I've worked those steps all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna soften some of that darkness. I got a one and one half on with the Gamma Dubs, and I'm just gonna go through and look to kind of soften some of that darkness. I really want that to meet that blend perfectly. And uh, this is all about being, being patient and, and working your way through the steps. So sometimes you wanna grab a little bit longer of a guard and just kind of see what that does to it. And that's all I'm doing here. And another really important skill that you can learn is, is know when to put the clippers down know when to switch over to some shear over comb and we're not getting far from that so the shear over comb is really going to help me detail this blend the rest of the way but before i do that i just want to make sure i've done everything i can do uh, with the clippers so i'm going to use the fine side of the shears uh, fine side of the comb and i'm going to begin lifting and cutting and if you guys want to dive into this technique a little bit more learn all the ins and outs of it uh, check out the shear over comb video i'm going to link it right here it's, it's just a video where we really, really go through all the ins and outs of this technique. So little by little, I'm looking for any dark spots, I'm looking for any imperfections, and I'm going to smooth them out using my shears. Now I know somebody's gonna ask, but I get my shears from Shear Police. I feel like they're one of the greatest companies, uh, really look out for people, and they have a lot of affordable options. And of course you could use my code Eddie and you could save 10% off if you're looking. So I try to do everything I can with the shear over comb before I pick up my texturizing shears, but I want you to notice my left pinky. It sort of slides up the side of the head. I know it's kind of hard to see it, um, but that's one of the anchor points we talk about. And then this is a little technique that you can use with texturizing shears where you're literally going to go right to the issues and you're going to take them out. So you're just kind of tapping it on the scalp little by little and we're just really looking for places to detail and we're looking to remove dark spots. This is one of the last steps I do uh, before I begin, you know, moving away from the blend and starting the edge up and all that stuff so let's let's start the edge up we have the new one blade on the saber now the one blade is a cutter it's it's beveled and the technology in this is just amazing i mean look at the lines it, it puts down this thing is just going to change the game so we're going to throw a little bit of shaving cream on them i have a two and 45 shave gel rather and I'm gonna begin this pull. I always like to start with the blade vertical towards the bottom. I just, I just feel like it sort of helps me uh, get, get the thing set up. And then I'm just gonna use the heel of the blade 
I don't always do it exactly like this. I kind of, however I could fit it in, however I could do it. A good rule of thumb for like consistency is when you can, when you can have like three points of contact. So one might be your other hand touching the scalp. And then, you know, maybe you're using one of your fingers to kind of drag alongside of the scalp. Just, just helps me maintain consistency. I do that both with the trimmer. Uh, I, I honestly, I do it every chance I can get really. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna clean up his eyebrows. These, these neck guards are just really awesome uh, from Zuka. They really do stop your client from getting any hair underneath the cape. It keeps them really clean. Like I had a client yesterday who was concerned about, you know, I gotta go right to work. And you know, I went and I grabbed it and I used it and he didn't have a single hair on him. So when I do these eyebrows, a lot of times like I'll comb all the long ones up. I like to do this with shears and just kind of knock those out. A lot of times I'll pick up a number one open and I'll, I'll, I'll run them over, but that doesn't always uh, help. It just sort of depends how the, eye, how the eyebrows lay, um, how they're sticking out. Dude, I'm never trying to go too crazy here. I'm just, I'm just trying to clean it up and you know, make it look good. So now I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna bring out these curls. I use their product uh, called Forming Cream. It's a, it's a level three product. I'm just gonna work it into the hair and you're gonna see how curly his hair gets when I, when I do this. I absolutely love this product for, for my hair and for like when I'm trying to create curls. And then we're also going to use the diffuser uh, after I'm done with these enhancements. So I got a little Tomb 45 no drip. I'll put the link to the gun down below. This this gun has been the best one that I've had and it's it's been really consistent. And I'm gonna I'm gonna spray in any you know light spots at the top and I'm really gonna get this thing like Instagram ready. So one of the last steps though. Uh, that I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to dry his hair the rest of the way with the diffuser and you're going to see the curls really start to pop out and we're not really going to enhance it any further than this just just doing a little touch up here this was actually before I had the pencils and I kind of wish that uh you know looking at it now I kind of wish that I had the pencils you know to to use on this one but a lot of times after I'm done using the razor there'll be a little bit of overhang and that's what I'm doing in this step I'm just kind of going back over it and just just cleaning that up and then if I see any hair that will make it pop a little bit better, I'll make sure I use the electric shaver towards the bottom and make sure that I got all those little hairs out of it. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you want to see more videos like this, I can knock these out pretty quick. And uh, there is a full version, ASMR version of this haircut. I'll, I'll put it in the link also so you can see like literally every step. Uh, but these are the, mo these are the main and most important uh, parts of the haircut. And uh, don't be afraid to jump into this membership, you guys. It's $4.99 a month, and you guys can become members. You'll get access to special content, exclusive content. And uh, I'm trying to make being a member mean something and, and give, give you guys something real special uh, with that. So we'll be doing full walkthroughs, full long tutorials, and stuff like that with the members. And it doesn't kill me with the algorithm. So with that being said, this is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber, and I'm out of here. Peace.